So there was a video I saw by North Star Radio about how every video on YouTube that you see now is so overproduced. Now the reason videos are like that today is because people aren't broadcasting themselves. YouTube wants you to broadcast a brand. They can't advertise people, they need brands. So you're seeing people put thousands of dollars into making these videos putting money into things that aren't really that important. They'll put money into graphics that are only on screen for less than five seconds. Then they spend money on a CGI boat in the video. One of the videos he uses to push this message is a Mr. Beast video, and he's 100% right about that video. It was an island that was basically filled with homeless people. So Mr. Beast got local law enforcement to remove them from the island so he could film on the island and steal the few things that those homeless people had to their name and film a video so he could make money. There aren't many people with that amount of power, but there are other channels that have overproduced content like that, like Jubilee or Cut. These channels are unlike Mr. Beast. These were meant to be brands from the beginning, and this is what will kill YouTube. I've said this before, they are making it so that people have to have a degree before they can have success online. You have to be a professional video editor or be very lucky. But back in the day on YouTube, editing wasn't even a requirement. Most videos weren't edited and they were 240p. Like that's the YouTube that I miss. They weren't brands. They were people just making videos online. Old school Let's Plays, just pointing your cheap Sony camera at the TV and using the onboard microphone to record your commentary. It was more about the person and the personality than the editing. Now in most videos, kids lose interest if they don't see an After Effects graphic in the first five seconds of the video. Somehow, people now assume that if you're not using After Effects, then you're just not trying anymore. But there are people that have never touched After Effects and put in 10 times the amount of work that a lot of these large YouTubers do. And a lot of these large YouTubers, you can tell whenever they hire professional editors because the feel of their channel changes overnight. These larger creators also typically have larger teams. Does that make them bad? No. But whenever it becomes so corporate, that's bad. One of the good things that we've seen from these corporate channels is whenever these personalities are able to make a career from what they've learned at their former employer, like Watcher Entertainment. Former BuzzFeed employees that were all liked even by people that hate BuzzFeed, like me, they realized they could start their own company and focus on quality instead of trying to make 15 videos a week. That's one of the biggest things that I think people don't think about, like how Linus Tech Tips was making 22 videos a week. When people are making that many videos in one week, you have to have a huge team to make heavily edited and heavily scripted videos like that. And they eventually got called out for their poor business practice and the poor work environment they built. That is something that will be with the company until they go under. And believe me, LTT will go under one day, just like Rooster Teeth. But when all content creators are just these brands and network television companies are all I see on the front page of YouTube, eventually people will stop watching YouTube because the more corporate it gets, the more like cable it becomes. And one day, there will be no difference between online entertainment and corporate entertainment if we continue down this road. Maybe I'm just reminiscing about the past, but that was better. But even then, what did most people try to do the moment they were recognized by mainstream media? They always tried to become an actor or a stand-up comedian. But the thing is, you didn't become famous by acting or from stand-up. You got famous from your personality. So don't don't try to become something corporate. Like, that can only end poorly unless you're like Bo Burnham and you know what you want to do from the very beginning. Like, you can try, but what we see from that most of the time is people come back to YouTube after being rejected by Hollywood like Lily Singh. Like, not only do they reject you, but they make it clear as to why you failed. There's a difference between being online and being on network TV. But just like people were uploading their acting reels in the early days of YouTube, there are a lot of people that see YouTube as the first step in becoming an actor. But 99% of the time, it's not. If you were that good of an actor, you wouldn't be putting your acting reel up on YouTube because you would already 
already have a job. This is not your gateway to Hollywood. If you want to be an actor, start going to auditions. That's the only way that it will happen. But that's just my opinion. Tell me if you think YouTube is becoming too corporate in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. You can like the video down below. You can subscribe to my channel. You can hit the little bell for notifications. And I'll see you all next time.